Wednesday. Um, and I am so excited because I vowed to myself that I was going to start vlogging again because I haven't vlogged in two weeks. making these videos I like to rewatch them and see how my weeks have gone and I know you guys like them as well so here I am um, you're probably wondering why 830 doesn't school typically take in earlier than that yes it does um, but we live in South Carolina and even though we weren't in the direct path of Irma we still had you know the eastern side of the storm um, rain bands come our way and we had a lot of rain and we had a lot of wind um, so we were out of school yesterday so we didn't go to school Monday and then we had a two-hour delay today um, just because there was a lot of folks without power and there were a lot of folks that couldn't make it out of their driveways because of trees down and so forth and whatever so that gave people more time this morning to oh sorry it gave people more time this morning to make sure that they were ready in time for school um my path to school is pretty clear fingers crossed i do take some more rural back roads to get to school so fingers crossed that those aren't messed up i don't think that they are um my heart and my prayers go out to florida especially the keys um because they were in the eye of the storm and in the direct path of the storm. Um, really, everybody in Florida got hit pretty good. Um, I just know that we had a lot of damage here, um, not on like my side of town, but more into town. It was pretty bad. A lot of down power lines and trees and things like that. I'm going to finish driving to work and catch up with you guys a little later. I used to walk these roads with you. Hey guys, so my kids are at Related Arts. Um, today is like one of those days where I'm not going to have anything accomplished. We did do dimes and pennies today. Um, talked about that. Um, but by the time you like get everything together and done, you really don't have much time. I mean that we already have two hours cut off. Um, it is what it is. So they're at lunch. I am going to make copies um, for their Tuesday folders. And then I have to go pick them up. Then we have lunch recess. Come back here. They do eSpark. And then they have like a pep rally thing they're going to. And then after that, it's going to be time to like pack them and go home. So I'm not even going to be able to cover really land for them today like I wanted to. So um, I'm going to show you guys what my room looks like once the kids get here. So this is what your room will look like after your kids get in here. I don't know about anybody else, but my room always looks a mess. I don't know why. Does anybody else have their graders that leave their stuff a mess? because I had to go pick up my kids in a little bit um, and then I won't talk to you until the end of the day but does anybody else get so hungry like not even halfway through your day like not even close to going to lunch like I'm close to going to lunch now but like, I have been hungry since I got here all right so school is over I'm going home yep Alright, so I successfully vlogged today. I don't know if I vlogged enough. But honestly, I don't have a lot of opportunities during the day to vlog. So I just try to vlog during my break. So hopefully that is enough and it suffices. So anyways, today wasn't a bad day. Um, anytime you have like a half day or a day where you start later and earlier or whatever, it's a little crazy. I originally planned to have... Um, enough time to do math in the morning, skip reading and writing, and then do 
science and social studies at the end of the day but that did not happen because we had like a little pep rally thing um, at the end of the day for for a fundraiser um, so we had to do that which took all of our social studies and science time so I did not get to finish talking about any of that so now I'm going home I need to work on plans because I didn't get to most of the stuff I want to do today so I'm going to have to push it back a day um, and then just make sure I have everything together for tomorrow sometimes I feel like I'm a terrible teacher because sometimes when I go home I don't want to do anything that has to do with being a teacher sometimes I just want to go home and just be Brittany and sometimes that's what you do and um, I decided that I'm going to dedicate one night a week where I stay late at school, I plan, 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 make copies, get everything together that I need to get done, and then I'll go home. But I'm only doing that one night a week. I think that my night to do that will be Thursday. I'm gonna stay late Thursday and plan. Y'all, my arm gets so tired when I do these vlogs. All right, so that's gonna wrap up today. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey everyone, so I definitely did not vlog today other than right now, it's after school. Um, I just got some stuff done. I, um, made copies for tomorrow. Um, I'm always afraid somebody's gonna walk in while I'm vlogging. And it's, I don't know, it's still awkward. Um, but we're having our land form test tomorrow. Um, so I had to make copies of that. And I also made copies of our scholastic letter. Um, to send home tomorrow. Because I'm really trying to get my kids to buy books that they like. So they will like reading more. Um, I actually just got <clears throat> a big order of books in that I ordered for my kids. Um, just because I, I find that I have a lot of the same kind of books. So I wanted to order more that they would just be more interested in reading. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Um, I have a few Esau kids in my room um, that I think think could probably read better if they had Spanish books. Um, so I picked up a couple of these guys. Um, it's Los Tipos Malos. Don't, don't judge me. I don't speak Spanish, so, um, yeah, that one. Um, these are all a dollar or less on Scholastic Teacher Club or whatever. Um, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I got several copies of these. I got Judy Broom. Judy Broom. I got Judy Bloom Freckle Juice. I got several copies of these. I got Ralph Mouse by Beverly Clearly. Um, I heard a lot of great things about the I Survive series, so I got this one and one other one. Um, I think it was like the Korean War. A lot of the boys in my class are really interested in history, so I really wanted to get more of those kinds of books. And then I also got several copies of the one and only Ivan. Heard really great things about this. Think my kids will really enjoy it. I already have one of the boys in my class that saw it before he left today that said he wanted to read it. Um, I also got, where is it? This is the other I Survived book. This is the um, Shark Attacks book. Uh, totally not the grain war like I thought it was. Um, and then I got several books that the girls can enjoy, um, and the guys too, I think. Um, actually, this one is not the one I was talking about, but this is um, the Black Lagoon, Black Lagoon Adventures. This is the Thanksgiving Day. So I also got this one, which is just the Unicorn First Class Friends. A lot of the girls in my class love those kinds of books. Then I got this one, which is called Sideway Stories from Wayside School. I figured the boys and the girls would like to read that one. I also got Mr. Pants Trick or Feet. Um, I might hold off with putting this one out, this one out until um, obviously Halloween. Um, I got a couple of those books for read alouds. Um, then I got Rabbit's Invasion, which is just some book that I think the boys will like, maybe the girls too. Um, I also got Bad Pets Hall of Fame because I have several boys and girls that love um, dog books. So that is what I got. I'm gonna keep a couple of these out front so they can find them easily. The last extends a class set of books. So the class set that I got was um, The Bad Guy's Guide to Being Good. 
Um, I'm going to give these to my kids tomorrow so they can keep them in their book bins, take them home and read them. Um, so, I, so I'm super excited about that. And I also got a class set of Flat Stanley. Um, I'm trying to decide when I want to give those to them. I'm thinking probably as like a, a Christmas gift, maybe with like a pencil and a bookmark, um, and sign each book for the kid. Um, thinking about doing that. I don't know, I might change my mind. Um, and that's, that's what I've gotten done so far. I think I'm gonna try to figure out more about Scholastic because I know some of the parents at my school don't have computers, so they cannot place their orders online. So I'm trying to figure out how to like collect that money, um, how to like turn it in and stuff like that. So if you use Scholastic in your classroom and like you have parents that send money in, let me know how you do that because I don't, I don't know. Um, so it was a really good day. My weeks have gotten so much better. I know my last vlog, um, I always talked about how my weeks were just kind of crazy and they were for the longest time, but they have gotten way better, but they've gotten way better and we're just having a much better time. I know y'all also probably may or may not have heard of my um, Instagram account. I have an Instagram account. It's at first and third. I try to post pictures there occasionally. Um, just keep you guys updated and all that's fun. Um, and yeah, so that is all I've done today. I'm going to head out um, and go home and work on some plans for next week. And I will catch you guys tomorrow.